Hi, Trevor here. I'm going to go over how to import a virtual machine onto a failover cluster and make it highly available. So select the node you want to use, then import virtual machine. So select the folder. Now I've taken the liberty of copying the virtual machine that I want to use into the cluster storage for the two node cluster. Go to the root of the virtual machine and it'll take a minute to propagate. So there it is. So that's our RDP server 2019. Uh, so again, make sure that you have it on the cluster storage, otherwise you won't be able to make it highly available. Next. Now I'm going to register the virtual machine in place. Uh, you could do a copy which would put the virtual machine in the different locations you want it. Now we're going to go edit the settings. So I had this set as a six processor uh, virtual machine. I'm going to change it to four. And we got 16 gigs of memory up to 24. We have our hard disk and we have our networking. So you'll want to make sure that it's attached to the proper VLAN and before you export or if you forget to export make sure the static the MAC address is what you had on your previous uh, Hyper-V host because if you don't uh, you will have issues getting the same IP address that you may have had before. Okay, so we're going to go to the configure role wizard. This will make our virtual machine, which is imported on our Hyper-V host, highly available. So we're going to select virtual machine. It found our remote desktop server on the host. Select it. Hit next. Uh, just confirm, hit next, and now it's making it highly available, and finish. And we can see here, there it is, and it's off. So we can go to the settings. We see all our Hyper-V settings. We want to set this to automatically start. And I'm going to put on a minute delay and we can see here all the services integration services are offered and automatic stop action is to save the virtual machine to change the cluster node that you want the virtual machine to run off of right click go properties and here you can select your preferred owner and it goes top down. So in this case, if you wanted HV03 to be the primary node, you would move it up. But since I want HV02 to remain the primary node, I'm going to move that back up and go OK or cancel. And that is how you make a virtual machine highly available. We'll just turn it on to verify. So now with the machine booting up, this will take a minute or two. Okay, so now we're seeing it's applying policy. We'll just adjust the screen so it's a little bit bigger. Okay, now uh, typically you could shut it down right now, or you can log in. I'm going to use uh, the remote desktop connection. I'm going to put in the name of our remote desktop server. And now I'm going to put in my password. And here we go. We're good. Connect. It helps if you put your password in properly. 
There we go. Certificate error. And now we're in. Applying group policy. And we're in. We got our desktop. Everything's good. So I hope you found this video useful. And I'm going to log out now. And don't forget to subscribe.